Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to create a two variable data table. Now, the data that's given to us is that we have the cost of a house at $200,000. Uh, we have a down payment of $20,000 and therefore a loan amount of $180,000 that we need to borrow at a 4% interest rate annually. That means the per month interest rate is about 0.33% and we intend to repay this in 15 years so that there'll be 12 payments per year. 180 periods over which your payment will be done and that translates to a monthly payment of $1,331.44 but what if we want to see this monthly payment amount in different scenarios okay so what if we want to see this for various types of repayment years and not just 15 years but maybe 10 years 15 20 25 and so on and what if we want to see the different types of cost of the house values? So if we want to purchase a house that is 200,000 or 250,000 or 300,000. To do that, we will create a simple two variable data table. Okay, so to get started, I'm just going to put all the different repayment years here in the column, in this column here. I'm just going to say 10 years. And after that, I can just add 15 and 20 and so on but I'm going to use a small shortcut uh, what I'll do is click on the fill button and within this um, just click on series okay and by the way the fill button is in the home tab click on series and choose series in columns and step value should be 5 because you want to make 10 15 20 so there is a difference of five units or five years and the stop value is 40 because the highest term that we can consider is 40 years for the loan and click ok and excel will add all these numbers for you just want to point out that the fill uh, button is located in the home tab next we want to add in the topmost row the amounts 200,000, 250,000 and 300,000. These are the three figures that represent three different home values that we wish to consider. And now what we want to do is fill up this entire space with the values for the monthly payment. If we were to choose a $200,000 loan at 10 years repayment, or a $250,000 loan at 25 years repayment and so on. To do that first, I'm just going to have to put the value of our formula here equals uh, monthly payment. So C13, enter. And let me enlarge the cell a little bit. So here it is. And I'm going to remove the decimals. And now select this entire range including the topmost row and the leftmost column and now you're ready to insert a data table click on data and what if analysis data table and your row input cell is this cell right here the cost of the house and your column input cell is the repayment years value so these are the two values the row input cell and the column input cell that are the representative values for your row and for your column in your two variable data table and click OK and now you have all the different values calculated right here so what I'm going to do is format these select all of these home and call these accounting with no decimal places. We just want approximate figures here. So you can see how if you borrowed $200,000 at a 15 year loan, then you will have to pay $1,331, which is the same as this, same as this. And if you wanted to borrow $300,000 and intended to repay it in 30 years, then you'd have to pay $1,337 per month. 
So that's how you can get this nice table here for your two variable data table. The two variables are the amount of the loan and the duration over which your loan will be repaid. So that's it for now. And I hope you found this useful and please check out more videos on codable.com.